Well, good morning. It's another beautiful, if not windy morning. We had uh, quite a thunderstorm last night, actually. Um, I'll throw a clip in here so you can see exactly what was going on. But yeah, we had like hours and hours and hours of just... No. Yeah, we did. No. We did. No, no, you won't. Okay, I'll tell them. Yeah, we had lightning for like four hours straight and like heavy, heavy wind. Still windy this morning. Things are still pretty wet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get chores done. It's gonna be a little bit different today. No gypsy chicks to feed. Um, but we're gonna still gotta do a little bit of processing of the chickens. They've been in the fridge all night. So we'll get them, uh, most of it's cut up and sorted, but we got a little bit more sorting to do and then get all that meat into the freezer. Um, but yeah, just for now, we'll get the layer chicks fed, the pigs fed, check on the sheep. And then we've got to get this thing packed up and because yeah we're heading out tomorrow so there's gonna be no video for probably about a week just while we're enjoying some R&R &R time with family So we're gonna have some farm sitters come in for the week to come and do chores, make sure all the animals are doing great and uh, nobody's eating each other. Uh, so they'll be here later this afternoon just to kind of get oriented. And... So we just fed the piggies and we offloaded this big blue bin. So this big bin will hold about a week's worth of pig ration in it. Uh, well, it doesn't seem like much, right? But they'll go through, we fill up a five gallon pail full of uh, hammer milled grain and they get that every single day. So that's five pigs, five gallons of feed. As they get bigger, obviously that's gonna increase, but so the, the bulk feeder's full and then we've got this full. It should be good for several days now. The other thing now. we're gonna do if we're gonna be away for a few days is make sure there's all these garden hoses are wrapped up and run to everywhere they've gotta go. So. Um, We've had an issue with the dogs drinking all the chicken water over at the chicken houses. So I did buy uh, kind of an automatic water. It's a, it's a pail with a float in it basically and a garden hose attachment. So I'm gonna rig that up over by the chicken house so that even if the dogs go drink everything out of the waters, there's still a good continual water supply there that both the dogs and the chickens can access. Um, and then I gotta run hose over to uh, the nightclub pen for the sheep. So this is the uh, it's a Duramate automatic water. Picked it up at PV Mart. It was relatively cheap. I think it was only like $34.99 or something like that. It's basically just a plastic bucket with no handle, obviously, uh, and just a float in this back section here. So the challenge is to get it set up somewhere where it's kind of level so all the water doesn't just spill out. So I did put it on the composted area here so that, you know, I can kind of push and squeeze and get it to level out as I need to. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the water supply and just make sure the level, the float's set properly and we should be good to go. So it looks to be filling good here. Um, one thing like it is just a 5 8 garden hose, so you know, it, it does fill quite slowly. So it's good for chickens or dogs or something like that, but I think if you had to use it for, say, a horse or a cow or maybe even a pig, I don't know if it can keep up. So I just got back from town. Man, oh man, I can't believe how windy it is here. It's been windy like all day and it just continues to get windier and windier and windier. But uh, yeah, I had to run to town, took Carmen's truck in with the big blue quad in the back and it is sold down the road. She goes to a new family. I hope they get uh, a ton of fun out of the thing. It's been great for us. Yeah, I think it was one of the first things Carmen and I bought together. Um, we first started dating, I think we got it in like 2000, 2008 or something like that from uh, the dealership in High Prairie. And it's been an absolutely awesome quad. Sad to see it go, but you know, we can't just keep, we can't just sit around. We don't use it anymore. We just use it side by side for all the chores around the farm now. So it's kind of an end of an era kind of day, but oh well, such is life. So I had kind of hoped to spend a little bit more time, get some more footage of the animals and stuff, but with it being so windy today, it's really tough to be out there and spending time. So I thought I would just come in the chicken house, show you the baby chicks. I mean, who doesn't love baby chicks, right? So 
One thing that's super cool about these chicks is uh, this bass should come off this black hen. We had no idea where these were even uh, laid or hatched. And we just found like the gray one back here. We found her, we found her had a hatch set in the chicken coop next door. The black one was just cruising around behind the shop. So today I loaded up the kayak because we we're gonna go uh, to Slave Lake. And what did I find? All the eggshells from these little chicks. So that was pretty cool. Mama Hen, we found your secret spot. You'll have to find a new one, but pretty, pretty excited to have these little chicks of our own. See them grow up and uh, yeah, just exciting times. Can you say hi, Chicky Poo? Say hello. Go do chicken stuff. I tell you, you gotta keep just about everything on the farm. Carmen just texted me, she looked out the window, she saw that the roof was coming off of our mobile chicken coop. She said, I know you're busy, but if you don't deal with this, you're gonna lose the roof. What got me thinking, like all those old farmers that keep all that old junk, oh, one day I'll use this. Those guys aren't crazy. Had some uh, sheet metal screws in the drill. Boom, boom, went at it, got it fixed up. T two minutes, saved the roof, total win. And by the way, unless you do this, does the drill even really work? So yeah, so I'd love to show you the rest of the animals. You can spend some time with the pigs, the sheep, the horses, with donkeys, whatever it would be. But it would be like, uh, I would have to silence the sound. Uh, otherwise it would just be like being in a wind tunnel and that's no fun for anybody. So uh, I guess you'll have to wait till we get back for that stuff. So for now, I gotta get, I still gotta get this camper loaded up and ready to go. So I'm gonna let you go for now. I hope you have a fantastic week while we're gone. Keep it classy, love each other, be kind and we're gonna have a great holiday. We'll see you next week.